Okay, so in this first example, we do trace, ta trace tables to determine the output of the following pseudocode, or it could be a flowchart. So what we do is we do each trace table line, okay, across here, one at a time. Okay, so starting off with our first value, which is x, y, and z, and these are placed in the corresponding columns if they don't appear sometimes the exam um, does not always have the variables in the columns but these are your variables which are placed here so your first one is 5 okay 5 your next one is 1 so y equals 1 and z equals 0 right we move on to the next line do x minus 1, so x is currently 5, minus 1 is 4, so we do 4. We go to the next line of code, y plus 1, so y plus 1 is 2, and z is x plus y times 2, so x plus y is 4, point, is 4 plus 6, times 2 is 12. We go into the next line, do x minus 1, so x is now 4, so we do 3, y is y plus 1, so we do 3, and x plus y times 2, so x is 3, plus 3 times 2 is 12. And you just work through that. The next one at x minus 1, so 3 minus 1 is 2, y plus 1 is 4, Okay, 4 plus y is 6, times 2 is 12. And uh, the next one is 1, 5, we have 12 again. And x value is now 0, and y is 6. Uh, 6 plus 0 is 6, times 2 is 12. And if we go to the do statements, we can see now that we've come to the end of the while loop because x is now uh, the same as 0 so we can't go any further okay we can't go minus 1 and uh, the, the loop does end so there's no more data to be tested so this is where the trace table finishes so we're going to look at some more detailed flow charts so the more examples you work through and check the better you will become at completing a trace table method but for this one it is advisable to go through each one carefully to see what the flowchart is doing and make sure you get the same outputs so for this example this flowchart inputs 10 numbers and outputs how many were negative how many were positive and how many were zero so it gives you the following data here to be used so we're going to use minus one two four zero another zero two minus three zero twelve and eight that is going to be our test data here I have um, minimized the flowcharts that we'll refer to. The trace table is much bigger, so the, the way I've come to these headings is I've taken the headings from the flowchart itself. In the exam, um, they normally give you the headings, but occasionally you will have to deduct from the flowchart the headings that you would need to complete a trace table. Okay, so working in order, we're going to use the column from the left, starting from here. We're going to use counts and then work our way across line by line. Okay, Okay, so the flowchart begins with start. And in the process box, we have our first count. So I'm going to just draw in my one. And it says negative is zero, positive is zero, zero is zero so we'll put these values in our trace table 
So zero was zero, negative was zero, and positive was zero. When it comes to our number column, we're gonna look at our test data. Now I've just placed in the test data here from the previous slide. So we're gonna start off with the first test data which is minus one. That's the first piece of data we're going to test, so we put minus 1 in there and now the output of this, if we work, work through the algorithm so if we input minus 1 here is the number less than 0, so it is equals to 0 um, well it's minus 1 so it's no is the number less than 0, we say yes so the negative value will now increase by 1 so what we'll have here is we can now proceed to the next um, level of the trace table. So our next test is going to be called count two. Zero is now going to be added with a one. If you look at the uh, the flowchart, you add one. The negative now becomes 2, the positive now becomes 1, and the new number that you're testing is 2, because you look at the test table and it is 2. And now you follow through each of the lines one at a time. I can see that from the flowchart the counts goes up incrementally by one and when you're given a trace table like this you normally have to fill all the lines that are available to you you don't necessarily have to fill in all the boxes but you do have to fill in all the uh, all the lines that are available to you in some way or, f or shape or form so every count you do is going to go up by one so I'm just going to put the values in for, for counts which should be all completed on the left side and then I'm going to work through line 3 ok so line 3 we're going to work through the flowcharts as I do this so now 0 is 1 if we work through it we want the input value 4 so we input value 4 is the number greater than 0? Well, yes. So that means 0 will go up by 1. So 1 plus 1 is 2. We work further down the flowcharts and we can see we come to the next data flow. So count is now plus 1. So that goes to 4. Is count less than or equal to 10? Yes, it is. And we see we have this repetition so we've got a loop and we're going to keep doing this so input number is now going to be 4 we are going to just work through that again so input number is 4 is 4 equals to 0? no is 4 less than 0? no is number greater than zero? Yes. So therefore the per positive needs to increase by one. Okay. So negative is empty. So in terms of the process here, we just put the last value that we got, so we keep it as two. The positive now is one plus one, which is two which gives us an output of 4 okay because that was our test data from from before now we move on to the next line so our number is now 4 and we're going to do a count 4 so we're going to do is look at our next test data so our test data is 0 OK, so we'll run 0 through the flowcharts. So if 0 is our input, 
is 0 equals to 0? Yes, it is. Okay, so 0 plus 1. So from a 3, we now increase that by 1, which makes it 3. The flowchart tells us that we go straight to here. Count plus 1, which is 5. So that means these values remain the same. So negative is 2, position is 2, and that was for test data 0. I'm going to show you one more line. Uh, and then it just becomes a bit repetitive, which you can figure out on your own. But for test data number five, it's another zero. Okay. So if we input zero, is zoom is zero equals to zero? Yes, it is. Then we increase zero by one. Okay. So we type in four here. Our negative value remains the same and in fact when it remains the same you have got the option of writing the same number in or you can just leave it blank it's, um, it's entirely up to you so I'm just going to start leaving it blank the position is going to go to remain, remain at 2 and that was for test data 0 and just keep working through it Okay, the next text data is 2, and if I work through it, 0 remains the same, negative remains the same, the position now starts moving up. Okay, so we get 3, and then that was test data 2. And then for count 6, these remain the same, and we get position for positive 4. That was for test data minus 3. And the next one is 5. Is 0. And the next test data is 12. And the last one is 8. So with the outputs column now remaining because we've come to the end of the trace table we know this because when our count is 10 if the count is less than or equals to 10 we can we continue the loop but we've come to the end so the count for 11 ends there's nothing else for us to put in here so the way we get the outputs is we just put the remainder of each of the variables so variable 1 is 4 okay the next variable is 2 and the last one is 5 okay so the link there was 4 we have 2 and finally we have 5